Hey everyone, I'm Brooke and welcome back to my channel. Today is finally part three of my tech gift guide. I do apologize, this video is later than I anticipated. I actually was a little bit sick last week, so you may still be able to hear it in my voice and I may sound like I'm mid-cough throughout this video, so please bear with me. But I'm super excited. Today will be my favorite tech under $500. And I did say this is part three, so if you have not already watched part one, which was under $50 or or part two, which was under 175. I will link both of those videos and I do recommend you give them a watch after this. And this video is not sponsored. These are items that I just love so much that I want to share with all of you. So I will add the Amazon links in the description box down below. And I know we're about a week away from Christmas now. So hopefully if you're interested in these items, they will arrive on time. But otherwise, there's usually some pretty good end of year new year sales so if you can't pick it up in time for christmas hopefully you can find them after all right so first up it's actually missing from my background so shout out to you if you're just that observant and noticed but it is the amazon echo studio speaker so this speaker comes in around 200 dollars, and in terms of performance it's comparable to like the Apple HomePod or some of the Sonos speakers. But price-wise, it's basically half the price. This speaker has no business being this good in this price range, I have to say. So part of the reason it sounds so good is first of all, there's five directional speakers in here. So there's one at the top, there's some around, and then at the bottom, it even has this woofer. So it actually gets a decent bass out of this speaker and I feel like that's the issue with a lot of smart speakers or a lot of speakers of this size is it's missing the bass and I like to listen to bassy music and this gets the job done. This woofer, I mean, sometimes when I'm listening to music, I'll just literally look in the little gap and you can see the woofer going. You can see the bass, basically see the bass of the song. It's pretty cool and it just sounds so good. The highs, the lows, everything in between. It is wonderful. It also has the ability to play Dolby Atmos as well as spatial audio. So it just, it really sounds so crisp, so good. And I'm honestly pretty much using this as a three in one because I do use it as a smart speaker. It's basically native functionality. So, you know, using Alexa to talk to her as a virtual assistant and getting her to do things, you know, like play my music or timers, the weather, control my lights, all of that fun stuff. But I'm also using it as a Bluetooth speaker. So. I can connect various devices to it to play music from those sources. And third, I actually use it as a sound bar for my TV. So you can wire it to your TV, but I believe if it's wired, you end up losing the Alexa features. So I actually use it as a Bluetooth sound bar essentially from my Apple TV box. So. I don't have cable, I watch everything through my Apple TV and all of the audio comes through this speaker and you would not know that I'm playing it through a Bluetooth speaker. It sounds incredible, there's no lag or anything or latency with the audio, it sounds crisp regardless of what I'm watching, whether it's YouTube videos, Netflix, a movie, everything goes through here and it sounds so, so good, even for audio. It allows me to get even more value out of this speaker. The smart speaker, a Bluetooth speaker, and a TV soundbar. This thing can honestly do it all. All right, next up is also in my background, but it was a lot harder to move, so it's still in the background, and it is my Audio-Technica turntable. I'll add the model number on the screen because I honestly don't remember it, but this turntable is awesome and it's about $300. It's definitely not an entry level price. It's not like one of those suitcase turntables. It's worth it for the quality and the reputation of the brand in my opinion. So the turntable is fully automatic, which is awesome because that means I literally just put the record on and hit play and it just works beautifully. It can play at two speeds and comes with an adapter and a switch depending on the record size. And it also comes with this detachable dust cover, which is just perfectly convenient. And in my opinion, the best part about this turntable is you can use it with wired speakers or over Bluetooth. So I actually use it with my Echo Studio, which 
I mentioned as the first item. To me, they are a perfect pair. Bluetooth speaker is so good that even the records over Bluetooth sound awesome. They sound super crisp and super clear. Before any of you audio experts out there get mad at me for listening to my turntable over Bluetooth, yes, I know that's not how you're supposed to listen to a turntable, but in my opinion, it is way more convenient and less expensive because I did not have to go out and buy a new pair of wired or powered speakers. So in my opinion, the turntable is the perfect gift for any music lover on your list. And if you're looking for something even extra special, you could pair it with the Echo Studio speaker. It would still come in around under $500 and they just make the perfect pair. Now, this next item, don't worry, it's not a mini suitcase for $500. It is the USB-C AirPod Pros Gen 2. I filmed an unboxing of these a couple months ago, so if you saw that, you know I upgraded to these from the original AirPod Pro Gen 1s from a few years ago. Now at around $300, these are pretty expensive and you can get cheaper wireless noise cancellation headphones out there. However, if you have an iPhone, in my opinion, they're your best bet. They're just, gonna work so seamlessly with your phone. They are literally made for your iPhone and you can tell. So I do listen to them pretty much daily for music, podcasts, audiobooks, whatever I'm doing, even taking phone calls when I'm out for a walk or sometimes doing chores around my house. Like I use these all day, every day pretty much and they are incredible. I would say the things I've noticed that are way better with these Gen 2s so far, first of all, is the noise cancellation. I have no idea how they can make it this much better, but the noise cancellation is incredible with these Gen 2s. Also, the transparency is so much better than Gen 1. It sounds less tinny and like less, everything is just amplified. Like there's actually seems to be a science behind the transparency mode this time, if that makes any sense. But probably my favorite, favorite thing of all, and I have no idea how Apple did this, is the connection to my devices from these AirPod Pros Gen 2 is the most seamless experience I think I could have ever imagined. With my old Gen 1s, if I were to switch from my iPhone to my iPad or to my Mac, it would take a little bit of playing with my settings, like disconnect the Bluetooth from one to get it to connect to another. Like it wouldn't happen seamlessly. With these AirPod Pros Gen 2s, I can literally go from my Mac to my iPhone or from my iPhone to my iPad even to my Apple TV with the click of a button. The connection is just so seamless and that's why these are definitely the best earphones or earbuds for any iPhone user out there. So if you've been looking for a sign or an excuse to upgrade your own earbuds, this let this be it because these are, in my opinion, well worth the hype and are so, so much better than even Gen 1 of the AirPod Pros. All right, so this was my gift guide for tech items under $500. And yes, at this price, they are pretty expensive, but I can confidently say these are probably my favorite tech items of 2023. I love them so much. I pretty much use them every single day and they are just wonderful, wonderful, and well worth the money in my opinion. So if you are interested in them for yourself or anyone on your list, all of the Amazon links will be in the description box down below. If you have not already watched part one or part two of my gift guide, I will also link those videos down below. And as always, if you did get value out of today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any future videos. And that's it. So have a great day and happy holidays. Take care. Bye.